Our only vital national interest in Afghanistan remains today what it has always been, preventing a terrorist attack on America's homeland. And that is President Joe Biden speaking after four o'clock this afternoon today. One by one, cities in Afghanistan have fallen to the Taliban, including the capital of Kabul. Even the country's president has now fled. Today, we've been talking to local veterans who helped to fight, fight who fought in that country. Rachel Droz is here with their reactions and with resources available to help vets who might be struggling with this news. Rachel. Doug, emotions in the veteran community running high right now as the country many fought to save falls back under terrorist control. Doug High, who lives in Lexington, served in Afghanistan in 2017 when he was called up by the U.S. Navy Reserve. You serve hoping to make your country safer and to make a, a better country for uh, the people of Afghanistan, to help them uh, find a better country, uh, fight for a better country. And to know now that hard work and that sacrifice is now, you know, in serious jeopardy is, again, just just devastating. High says the progress America made over the years vanished seemingly overnight. You're going to see a lot of um, a lot of Kentuckians who have served over there that are going to be upset, very upset about what's happened. They're going to feel that the, the time they spent over there was for naught. Uh, and and they're going to be concerned about the friends they've made over there and and about the uh, the time that they've sacrificed over there. High isn't alone. Jeremy Harrell, who runs the Veterans Club, a nonprofit that helps veterans around the region, says he's heard from a lot of Afghan war vets who feel defeated right now. Really disheartening for those who serve there. Both High and Harrell say right now it's important to offer support for veterans you may know. Just listen to them. You're going to hear a lot of war stories coming up here. And if you yourself are a veteran, reach out for help if you need it. One thing that I know that veterans tend to do in times like this is isolate, and isolation is a killer in the veteran community. Isolation will kill more than the enemy will. If you need help, there's a veterans crisis line you can call if you need to talk. That number is 1-800-273-8255. You can also go to the veteranscrisisline.net to chat with someone online.